Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. Yesterday I talked a lot about the Lost episodes and didn't really talk much about this particular story itself. So today I want to explain to you why I love this story so much. So first of all, the broad strokes of the story itself. Uh, the TARDIS materializes in the peaks of the Himalayan mountains, with the TARDIS still damaged from the events of the previous story. It's unable to make light, power, or water. And being at such a high altitude, the doctor succumbs to altitude sickness before he can do anything to repair the TARDIS. Fortunately, the group is found by Marco Polo and his caravan, and the group are taken on board for protection. And in fact, the TARDIS itself is loaded on the back of a cart and carried along with them. From there, the story takes a grand journey down the slopes of the Himalayas, across the Gobi Desert, through northern Cathay, ancient China, all the way to Peking and the courts of Kublai Khan. Also traveling in the caravan is a young girl, Ping Chao, who has been betrothed to an old man in Peking. A Mongol warlord named Tagana, who is there as a representative of Nagai to negotiate a peace between Kublai Khan and the Mongols. But of course, Tagana is up to no good. He's trying to sabotage the entire venture. And that right there is my point. This story doesn't need any robots or aliens or mysterious mystical forces. Get me wrong, I, I love a good alien invasion. I'm a sci-fi geek. But the strength of Doctor Who is that it can literally tell any kind of story. And sure, most of them are going to be science fiction, but there is absolutely a place for a pure historical. And this story shows that there is plenty of danger and suspense to be had without any of those science fiction trappings. Between sandstorms and uh, assassins and Marco Polo stealing the TARDIS to give as a gift to Kublai Khan in order to secure his own release to return to Venice, this is just a fantastic story. The sweep of it is amazing, and the characters are spectacular. Marco Polo is a great, conflicted character. He's a good man, and yet he is at odds with the Doctor because Marco Polo sees the TARDIS as his chance to be finally freed from the court of Kublai Khan and allowed to return home to Venice. And meanwhile, you have Tagana plotting all along the way, cutting their water bags in the Gobi Desert, staging assassins to kill Barbara and Ian and Susan. It's just great, great stuff. And the set designs and the costumes, they're all spectacular. And this shows that you don't need crazy special effects to make a good story. Oh, and hey, speaking of assassins, it's worth pointing out that part of Doctor Who's original mission was to be an educational program. And of course, this story is trying to teach children about Marco Polo and Cathay and the Silk Road and, and all of those things. The cool thing I learned, and I had never known this before, but the origin of the word assassin comes right from this era. It comes from a group of hired murderers who were most well noted for their use of the drug hashish, and they were called hash hashin, which in English mutated into assassin. So hey, I'm learning, you're learning, we're all learning together with Doctor Who. Anyway, that's it for today. Tomorrow I carry on with this story and I'll see you then.